Are you having trouble creating the right filter on your Power Apps Gallery? In this lesson, we will show you how you can create views in Dataverse in order to create a filter that will display the correct information in the Power Apps Gallery. Here is our problem. When we scroll all the way down to the list of the employees, our employee dropdown is not able to show all of the employee names. We need a way to show all of the employees in the dropdown so that each employee can be selected from the list and filtered on their name. Since our list of employee names is too long to display all of the names, we need to create two views that will split this list in half and create two dropdown lists from the two different views. Let's head over to Dataverse so that we can create our two views. Let's click on the table in Dataverse. On the right, click Views. At the top left, click on New View. Call this view last name A through L. And then press the Create button. Click on Edit Filters on the right. We need to create a group. Select the employee name column. Select begins with and type the letter A. Add a new row. Change the AND to an OR. Select the employee name column. Select begins with and type the letter B. Add rows C through L and press OK at the bottom. Press the Save and Publish button on the top right. We will now create a view of last names, M through Z. Let's click the Back button. At the top left, click on New View. Call this view last name, M through Z. And then press the Create button. Click on Edit Filters on the right. We need to create a group. Change the AND to an OR. Select the employee name column. Select begins with and type the letter M. Add a new row. Select the employee name column. Select begins with and type the letter N. Add rows O through Z and press OK at the bottom. Press the Save and Publish button on the top right. Now that we have created our two views, let's head back over to Power Apps and apply these views to our dropdowns. To apply the view of the last name, A through L, select the dropdown and put this into the item's property. To apply the view of the last name, M through Z, Select the drop-down and put this into the item's property. Now we have created the right filter on your Power Apps Gallery. If you enjoyed this content, you should check out this video. Are you having trouble creating the right filter on your Power Apps Gallery?